Howdy Airlines, my name is Jonas and I'm Linus. The sun is shining, the grass is green, but all around the hockey loving world rings are coming up, the winter is fast approaching and indeed ice is forming. So I'd like to welcome you dear listeners and indeed watchers to the first edition of the Sportsline Video Hockey Special Podcast, that's a big word, and in this first edition we'll be discussing the Finnish prospect and indeed the Buffalo Sabres NHL prospect Joel Ormia who has spent his last season in the AHL in the Rochester Americans, which was a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. But, I mean, Linus, what do you think, what does he need to do to make a transition from the AHL to the NHL? Well, for Joel Joppe Armia, the yeah. biggest problem is his inconsistency. Okay. His upside is huge. It's this big. Enormous. It's huge, absolutely huge. And his good day can be here, yeah. up here with the best in the NHL. Yeah. But his bad day can be here. Or even there. You can even see it oh, from the it's camera. It's so low. <laughs> um, so he needs to bring up the low level, up, yep. up, so that the NFL coaches have the guts to put him on ice and they don't think he will explode there to whichever way he can. Yeah, that's, that's, that's great point, Linus. I think that at this point he's still perceived by NHL coaches as a major risk. He's been known to be a bit like a diesel on defense. He's perhaps, he has a tendency of losing pucks in the neutral zone. He's perhaps not that physical in his game, at least physical enough mm. to make an impact in the NHL. He needs to bring these elements of his game up considerably before he can make that transition. Yes, NHL coaches want consistency. They want a guy who can they throw they can throw on the yep. ice and that they know they're going to perform on a standard level. Exactly. I mean, it's very interesting to see what he has done during the summer. Uh, Mikael Granlund made a great transition. Uh, last summer he really put in the, the work, he really bulked up, he became a lot more physically strong, fit, endurance-wise he became better. Let's really hope that he's for the same. example, yeah. yeah. Uh, we really hope so. Uh, Joel, we're rooting for you, if you're watching. <laughs> um, all the best, and uh, thank you, dear listeners and watchers. Stay tuned for more Sportsline video podcast in the near future. Stay tuned, and so long. So long. Bye-bye.